part of the mission of iDrum is to explore uh, new arts, new forms of arts in Atlanta. Uh, improvisational Music Night happens first Thursday of the month and it encompasses a wide variety of musical genres and forms. Actually, it encompasses a wide variety of improvisation generally because we have uh, performance artists who will come, professional jazz guys will come by and play, uh, sometimes people who uh, have an interest in music but don't really play, I encourage them to come up on stage. So what happens is that uh, we see some you know, highly trained musicians, you know, people that have been you know, playing since their school days, coming together with um, people that are only playing because that's what they want to do. So that, that blend of the scholarly musician and the non-musician, it becomes a scenario, it's, it's, it's a situation that's almost like a tornado. <laughs> have to be tuned into what everyone else is is doing in the group if you're going to be effective at it because um, I think a very important thing is giving space and listening to other people. Now on the converse of uh, that certainly sometimes we get extremely maximal in our playing and there's a lot you know uh, concophony if you will going on. We have uh, what we call a conduction where everyone who has played gets up on stage and I attempt to lead them through some sort of um, melange of sonic intensities of various textures and sorts. And so that's always a lot of fun. People really enjoy that. I think I do anyway. I try not to get into arguments with people as to what constitutes music or not. I mean, you have to ask yourself, where does music come from in the first place? At some point, it's input, it comes out and then they write it down. We kind of chop out the middle part of writing it down and try to develop a sort of, for lack of a better word, a musical telepathy. It's a way for all of us to train ourselves in thinking about how to be on our feet musically and to respond very quickly and of the moment.